My name is Matt Batesel. I'm the Wisconsin Executive Director for American Majority. And today we're going to talk about the Wisconsin model, how the state of Wisconsin and the grassroots infrastructure here is becoming a new model that other states are looking to learn from and, and potentially copy. So first of all, we need to start off by talking about the Colorado Blueprint. Now, a bunch of liberal donors got together back in 2006, 2008, and, and basically spent money developing political infrastructure outside of the party system. And so there was a book uh, written a few years ago that many people have read in the conservative and liberal worlds of uh, nonprofit management as to what to do, how to how to use nonprofits and build up political infrastructure. So for many years, the, the left and, and the right even has tried to copy this in other states. And now what we're seeing in Wisconsin is based on the success that successes we've had on the conservative side, that Wisconsin is becoming the blueprint for conservatives. So other people from other states have been contacting us asking what's happened in Wisconsin and how can that be replicated. Well, we kind of boiled it down to these five points. Uh, first of all, strengthening the Tea Party is a key part of uh, being successful for conservatives. Building up vibrant new media, also helping bold conservative leaders you need to have a strong social media presence and make sure that the ground game is top notch, able to go blow to blow with the left. So Tea Party 2.0, you know, it's not just about rallying anymore for the Tea Party. Becoming a permanent political force is, is very important. And so it's, it's not just getting together and protesting, it's getting up for elections, it's doing transparency efforts. And so the Tea Party in Wisconsin has been resilient. They've been strengthened after each battle with liberals. Back in 2011, we had the collective bargaining reforms, a very important Supreme Court race that conservative candidate won. Uh, and we had two rounds of recalls, and the conservatives have, have been strengthened after winning those battles, after going blow to blow with the, with the left. The American Majority's activist trainings have helped them tremendously. We've had about 1,500 activists that have been trained in the past two years, really equipping them with the tools they need in order to be successful in politics. And, you know, it's, it's created, the Tea Party has created a permanent presence. So candidates are now running for office at state and local levels. We've flipped county boards, um, was Local candidates, Tea Party candidates, have, have won uh, more than 50 trained, American majority trained candidates have won the state and local level. You know, Tea Party activism is also exemplified by Verify the Recall, a great transparency effort that was done by Tea Party and Patriot groups that, that came together and got uh, thousands of volunteers to go through all the recall signatures for the gubernatorial recall election we had and verify that there were enough signatures for a recall. There was lots of question and there was barely enough at the end of the day but a lot less than what the, the left had claimed when they submitted the signature. So it was very helpful to see some of the fraud that was, was used in, in, in order to force that, that recall. So now we have this conservative revolution in a state that was thought to be torn apart by, by reforms, Go, grassroots training, candidate training, issue advocacy, bipartisan accountability, grassroots mobilization, and technology helped to lead a conservative re revolution. To succeed in the future, we must take this same multifaceted approach consistently over time. It's not enough to just do it right before an election. One of the tools that's been very helpful for, for folks here in Wisconsin has been political gravity. It's a cutting-edge political tool that makes voter outreach more efficient and allows for more targeted get-out-the-vote efforts. It's a smartphone and tablet compatible program uh, that people can use on their, their tablet or their iPhone or smart other smart device and works tremendously. One group called Gravity a lifesaver during the Wisconsin recall it resulted in a 14% increase in turnout for the, the, the June 5th recall election, as well as a significant uh, increase in turnout in, in the fall election cycle in key counties where it was deployed as well. It's not just enough to have the technology, though. You need to be engaging. You need to have good groups that are in the vibrant new media challenging the mainstream media at every step of the way. So in Wisconsin, we've been blessed with MacGyver Institute and Media Trackers have been doing their own work of doing investigative research reporting on stories that the mainstream media has traditionally ignored. Based on the success Media Checkers has had, they expand beyond Wisconsin into some other states listed on your screen. You know, the, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel was even forced to admit how successful Media Checkers has been. It's, it's good that we can have uh, groups that can go out and, and be on the attack and, and, and take it to the left and not just sit back and let the mainstream media tell us what's happening. So you know, some of these groups were influential in a lot of the big stories that are coming out of Wisconsin in the last two years. The fake sick notes story where uh, doctors handed out sick, sick notes to public employees who were skipping work. Um, they've helped to expose bias. Just basically connecting the dots of the left, doing the homework that is uh, fall, far too often just ignored 
and the left's talking points just get repeated verbatim in the media, they're able to push back. Media Tracker has done a phenomenal job of digging up original research and getting it covered by the mainstream media. You also need to have a bold conservative leader. You know, we need a messenger with big ideas that won't back down to pressure from liberals. The left will throw bombs, so a candidate needs to have thick skin and a record of staying the course to win. You need to have strong social media presence as well, and that's something we've really spent a lot of time developing here in Wisconsin. It's not just on one platform, you know, across the social media platforms. We must constantly be innovating on social media platforms and uh, reaching out to, to folks uh, across the spectrum and, and making sure new people are uh, learning information as they vote and as well as just having the issues framed for them. You know, Twitter, we've we created the hashtag we write, which has had a, a tremendous amount of influence. Um, one day even had over, more than 1,500 tweets and generated more than 3.2 million impressions. So that's reaching almost a million people in the course of 24 hours. You also need to have a strong ground game. So in, in Wisconsin, we've, we've had opportunity to, to, to test some new ground game techniques, you know, using the technology of gravity. We have to be get out there, knock on doors, and, and get out in the communities and learn what, what's happening, what the voters are motivated by, so we can frame the issues and, and turn out the folks that we, uh, on the issues that we know that they, they care about. So Ned Ryan, President of the American Majority, said, we are fundamentally trying to shift the dynamics and leverage what we already know. The American people are, by and large, conservatives, armed with the facts and American principles, a real, organized, locally driven conservative movement can give us real hope and change. And so again, those five key points, how to replicate the success in Wisconsin, first strengthen the Tea Party, build up vibrant new media, help bold conservative leaders have a strong social media presence, and then take over the ground game.